August is bringing us a rare lunar event you won't see in the sky. It's called a black moon, and while the name sounds ominous, it's actually just a quirky part of the moon's calendar math. Storm Tracker 16 meteorologist Jeremy Lewan has the lunar lowdown in this month's Skywatch 16. <laughs> You may have heard of the phrase once in a blue moon. It refers to something rare, just like the event it's named after, two full moons in a single month. But this August, we're getting a similar event that you won't actually see because it happens in darkness. It's called a black moon. A black moon is the lunar opposite of a blue moon. Instead of two full moons, we have two new moons in one calendar month. Since new moons aren't visible from Earth, this celestial event often slips by unnoticed unless you're keeping track. That double new moon setup only happens about once every two and a half to three years. But there's more. Astronomers actually recognize three kinds of black moons. Along with two new moons in one month, a black moon can also be the third new moon in a season that has four, which only happens occasionally due to the way lunar cycles line up with the calendar. That's what's happening this time. The 2025 summer season will have four new moons altogether, and the third occurred on Saturday, August 23rd. When you have a new moon, there is no ability to see it in the sky, and this new moon, as I said, is a very special one. It's a black moon. The last one in the lineup happens on September 21st, the night before we transition into fall. The rarest black moon of all? In a weird lunar loophole, we sometimes get a black moon when February has no full moon at all. See, the lunar cycle is about 29.5 days long, which is a bit longer than February's 28 days. So if the full moon happens on January 31st, the next full moon won't be until March 1st, skipping February altogether. This only happens in non-leap years, and it's pretty rare, only showing up about once every 20 years. While there's not much to see, the night of the black moon and a few days before and after, like tonight, give astronomers ideal stargazing conditions. No moonlight means darker skies, perfect for spotting constellations, the Milky Way, or even meteor showers. So even though the moon's hiding this time around, the rest of the night sky may just steal the show. Jeremy Lewan, Newswatch 16.